Hey guys, today we'll be looking into how to pull a sick screaming lead sound using the brand new Archetype Pliny plugin from Neural DSP. For this demo, we have a song by a band called Archetype, I shit you not, and uh, they have a nice little middle eight section with a great guitar solo that we're going to be going over that's perfectly suited to this plugin. So, this is how the plugin boots up. The very first thing you want to do is set the oversampling to high, as always. The next thing you want to do is, I suppose, just take a listen. Alright, that's a pretty great starting point. A little bit neutered on the gain and maybe a little bit too reverby. So the first thing we'll do is go to the effects section right at the end and kill the reverb so we can judge the tone and take a listen again. Alright, let's go to the amp section and try the high gain head. Alright, it's actually a little bit better for me. Now this might be a little bit counterintuitive to some of you guys, but what you actually want to do next after you get the general shape of the sound is to go to the cab section. Now the cab section is where we essentially establish the, the overall aesthetic of the sound. It's the thing that sculpts the tone more so than the actual head and the pedals, believe it or not. So the first thing we'll want to do is just isolate in and listen on our main microphone, which is the Dynamic 57, so we'll disable the second one. So that is almost perfectly positioned right out of the box. That's pretty awesome. So the second thing we want to do is essentially work out a complementary microphone to round out and fatten the sound because the dynamics are a little bit sizzly on the top end. So we'll enable the second microphone here and the Roya R121 is one of my favorite microphones for doing this. So let's take a listen to how the two complement each other. Around about 6 dB beneath the first microphone is about perfect for this one. So the next thing we want to focus on is our gain level. The tone currently isn't carrying very well, and we'll try and work on that. Boosting the level of the overdrive into the amp is an age-old tradition where we essentially get a lot more saturation out of the tone. This especially works well on lead guitar sounds, so it's absolutely perfect for what we're doing here. So that's great. We're going to avoid the compressor for this kind of a sound. The compressors are usually designed for cleaner, more dynamic sounds where you're trying to knock off transients rather than saturated, distorted lead sounds, which already have a compressor effect on them intrinsically. Going back to the amp head itself, let's see what we can tweak up. I suppose the amazing thing about this plugin is that everything sounds pretty fantastic at noon, just like most neural DSP units. Going from here, we're going to take a look at the effects section again. So I would say that a delay is probably more important than a reverb in a case like this, so let's start there. As you can see, with the delay, it's intrinsically tempo synced to your project, which is the way that I would leave it running. I believe it's set to quarter notes, so let's see where we go from there. You generally want to go for a wet dry mix of about 25% with lead sounds, somewhere about there. Depends on how ambient you want it to actually sound. A 
story with the reverb. Uh, the controls are fairly self-explanatory. You've got a space, which, which is essentially the, the size of the room that's being emulated, a time, which is how long the wash sustains for, and what looks like a high pass and a low pass filter. Now, luckily for us, both of these things sound fantastic pretty much at default settings. So all we really need to control is the wet dry balance for now. What I'm doing in the graphic EQ section is essentially just knocking off some of the harder mid-range that we have in here. 2K can sometimes be a pretty painful frequency range on certain high notes, uh, so be wary of that one. And other than that, we're just removing some of that kind of cardboard 2D mid-range from 500 hertz. Sounds pretty damn good to me. Now, to those of you who might be wondering why the bass guitar sounds so damn good on this clip, well, it's because we're using the brand new Eurobass 2 plugin from Submission Audio. Submission Audio is actually a company of mine, and we spent many, many, many months dialing in the Eurobass 2. To those of you who aren't familiar with it, it's a virtual bass instrument, so it's essentially a, a MIDI bass guitar in a box, if you will. So if you don't have access to a bass guitar or a bass player, perhaps you're not that proficient at playing bass yourself, this will essentially give you an amazing bass tone right out of the box, pre-mixed to a world-class standard. So I would strongly recommend checking it out. It also contains some great tones from Neural DSP and obviously interacts amazingly well with all of their guitar plugins, whether they be the Archetype, the Nameless or the NTS. So as you can see, you can get a great tone in absolutely no time with this plugin. I didn't even have to go outside of it and instantiate an EQ or a compressor or anything like that. It's got all of the effects self-contained. I'm sure if you want to get into a final level of detail, you can, but that's outside of the scope of this video. So if you enjoyed what you saw, make sure to subscribe. We'll have more videos like this coming for various tools and various mixing techniques. So make sure to stay tuned and we'll see you next time. Thank you.